हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग तो कैसे हैं आप लोग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद प्रॉब्लम इट सेल्फ व्हिच इज मैक्सिमम ट्विन सम ऑफ अ लिंक लिस्ट सो बेसिकली द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट वी हैव अ लिंक लिस्ट एंड n where the length of the linked list is of size n and n is always even which means okay for sure we can make pairs which will come on later but yeah n is even the ith node of the linked list is known to as like known as a twin of the n minus 1 minus ith node um uh, where i is from 0 to n minus 2 by uh, n by 2 minus 1 and for example where n equal to 4 then the node 0 is the twin of node 3 node 1 is an is a twin of node 2 which means node 0 a twin of node 3 which is the last node node 1 is that a twin of second last node and so on and so forth which means from the ends the twins are being made uh these only nodes with n equal to 4 because for sure for n as let's say x only x by 2 pairs can be made uh the twin sum is defined as the sum of these two nodes because we take these two nodes so it's called as the twin sum cool given the head of the linked list as for sure you we are only given the head for the linked list with even length because you know the linked list of is of even length then the maximum twin sum of the linked list cool uh, let's quickly jump on the example it's pretty easy that firstly we will just go and find the sum of these two twin nodes then these two twin nodes its sum is 7 its sum is 4 we need to find the maximum sum maximum sum is 7 itself we will return the maximum sum and we are good to go cool um for sure uh, the first thing which comes in our mind is Okay, right, first thing, first thing. I just need to go to these two numbers, right? These two. So one thing is I can just iterate on the loop, or maybe I can just go in via via a two pointer approach. So first thing for sure is I can go from start from end, and I have two pointers here and here, and then I can just okay check. Okay, what is this pointer here? What is this pointer here? But 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 it is possible when we can actually iterate from the back, which means. we have one options we have to convert that whole linked list in a form of an array and then maybe we can iterate two pointer wise because it is a one directionally singly linked list which goes in from left to right we can't come back from right to left so that is not possible in this case so for sure if we choose to do a linked list operation then we can't just directly apply this back operation because it is like like this directed and for sure if we use an array so we will use an extra space but we don't want to use an extra space so we would use linked list to actually do the same operation in o of 1 now cool we are very good to know that okay we will just used linked list we will use two pointer approach but for that two pointer approach the i should be able to move backwards right from the end of the linked list from starting i can move forward that was clearly visible but from backwards also i need to move back uh back so two point approach we have to go from the start go from the end to go from the end as we said that we need to have although initially it is something like this but from end i need to come back so for that i need the pointers to get changed which means it's a part of kind of reversing a linked list if we have done this problem then it's just reversing a linked list then you just reverse this linked list which is the right half and by this what happened is earlier the linked list looks something like this which is going forward now it became as going backwards cool uh, so basically what will happen and this is that i just tried to reverse the linked list which is from middle to end but now and uh, for that also i need to reach the middle so now the problem okay i just had one problem that i have to reverse i have to apply two pointers from that i reach to a conclusion that okay i have to apply a two pointer from the end now if i have to apply the uh, two pointer from the end i should be able to come back like from the end part then for that to come back from the end which means to like reverse the traversal we need to have a iterator at the mid because i have from mid to end i have to reverse this whole part which means pointer is like this forward but i have to reverse it so one thing again comes in okay i have to find the middle now again to reach to a middle we again have two options which means first option is okay i just traverse a linked list one pass then i just find the length of the linked list then in another pass i just again 
find and go and traverse up till the mid. Then I just find okay, what is the mid of the link list? So basically, it involved two passes, but 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 we have for standardly a very optimized approach to find the mid of the link list by using a slow and the fast pointer. Where just as the definition says, slow pointer will move one step. In that time, fast pointer will move two steps, which means slow pointer and fast pointer. Fast pointer will always be twice as ahead as that of our slow pointer so if our slow pointer is at the mid which means fast pointer has reached the end which means if the fast pointer has reached the end which means for sure slow pointer will be exactly at the mid that is how we will use just one pass just one pass with this slow and fast pointer to actually reach at the mid and with this i will avoid just using two passes and by this i can just when like if the slow is actually at this mid which means okay i have reached at the mid location and from that mid location to the end location i can just reverse that entire stuff cool um now as we saw that okay what we have to do we have to just simply start with finding the mid and then reversing the part from mid to end and then applying two point approach to get the maximum sum cool then first part is get the mid as we showed okay we get the mid by using a slow and a fast pointer slow and the fast pointer initially are at the head so firstly i initialize the both of them at the head and also like ultimately in the last you will see that i need a maximum value for that i define a maximum value here now the main part comes until my fast is it reaches the end or basically it reaches the next it's next is end because ultimately you know I am moving to step for fast. So basically, if it is at the end, I can't move next to next. Okay, I can move. I can move next. It will be a null. But nulls next is nothing. So it will give me a null pointer exception. So as soon as it reaches an end, or basically it reaches ends next, which means okay, it reaches a null or it reaches the last node. In both of the cases, I have to terminate my loop because I can't move fast beyond these locations cool and then as we saw the slow will just move one step and the fast will move two steps next next which means if the slow and the fast were initially at the first so slow will actually so slow will actually move just one step fast will move two steps so basically slow is here fast is here in the next step slow will just move one step fast will move two steps and thus the fast as you saw reaches the null or maybe if it would have reached the end of the node then also it is a loop end now you can see easily that slow is pointing exactly to the middle location and from here up till the end we have our middle part which we have got now okay we have got the middle part and now come start okay we have to reverse from that middle part up till the end for that what we will do just simply we have to apply the reverse operation on the link list again we will just use two extra pointers to actually keep track okay these two are the pairs now as its link from a to b it's gone then i have to just reverse the link from b to a which means i will initially know okay my slow pointer was initially here then firstly 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 the next pointer i need to get because for sure um it's black because the light has gone but yeah i the guess the recording is still on but still we will just go on and see if i have this slow pointer and i have this next node then what will happen is firstly i, I am standing at the slow pointer then i just need to get the um part of that next node because from this node 2 to this node 3 i actually need to get from 3 to 2 so i firstly get this next node which is actually pointing to my 3 then firstly also i also need to make sure that i just mark it my slows next as a pref I will show this why this line is actually significant but for now just forget this line now ultimately what will happen is your prev will actually point at slow and right and your slow will actually come to your next now okay it is how you did cool no worries don't understand this for now but as soon as as soon as the next part will come in which means actually the pointer starts to get attached with the previous node what will happen is okay for sure now currently it is the situation for you that okay you have this slow you have this prep you have this next node firstly 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 you have to make sure that okay whatsoever's next node is there like let's say another node was here then you have to have to put your slows next to your actually the next node which means this slows next whatsoever this node is here 
it's actually the next node. So now, now the next node is updated like this. But, 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 actually I wanted this pointer to get reversed, which means slows next should actually point to previous node, which is this previous node. It is the reason I just showed you that, okay, forget this statement right now, because ultimately, in the starting step, we have just same as null and that same previous node. That's the reason we have just ignored that. But yeah, you now know the significance that I just had made new two pointers, which is next node and previous node. And next node will actually go on to the next node. And this previous node will actually slow and previous node which will actually help us build that reverse link. So with this slow and previous, I just build that reverse link. And now for sure, uh, it's slow is done. So I can just simply move my prev here. And also I can move my slow here. And that is how you will see that your prev is moved, your slow is moved, and your slow is gone from here. That is how you're just shifting. Okay, next node is shift, and then your like, next node is shift, and then your prev and slow are shifted. And that is how you shift, 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 shift. And every shift, you just point from slow to actually, okay, it's a reverse, right? Yeah, it is reverse. Okay, it is a reverse. It is a reverse. From um, slow, you just point it to two back. Cool. Um, this is how you will actually, actually build your reverse link list. Although it's a standard question, but it is a very good question that it involves using your slow and fast pointer. It, it involves using your reversing a link list. It's actually a very, very, very good operation and so on and so forth. Now, for sure, you have reversed the link list. Your link list looks something like this, which means your first half is actually forward. Your last half is actually pointing backwards. You have your head here. You know that your prep was pointing exactly at the last because you need to stop your loop as soon as you reach is slow. Then for sure, I will just go on from the start, which means head and prev. So ultimately, until my prev has not reached my null, then I can just simply because you know that at two, it, it will have no next pointer, which means it will just point back to null. For sure, I will have no next to two. So it will just stop. Or I can just also have for this particular thing, which, but for that, I have to remove this pointer of two. But yeah, no worries. We can just move from the prev backwards and just ultimately see, okay, find the value of head and prev sum and keep updating your maximum sum. And for sure, head will move next and prev will also move next because both can move next now because the pointers have been reversed for the last node. And ultimately, you saw the time complexity is O of N. Simply one pass, see, one pass, I'm saying, one pass to find the middle node, one pass to reverse the linked list, one pass to actually find the pair sum. And space is also O of N because nothing is actually extra used. And now, the whole code as I, saw, as I showed you, finding the middle node, reversing the right half of the linked list, and then finding the maximum when the linked list is reversed. That is how you will just solve this question. C++ Java and Python code is down below. I hope that you guys got it and... If you guys have any questions, you can just link down below. And yeah, I'm also thinking for just any video you guys want, um, just uh, like mention down below whatever you want. Better get. Bye. Cool. That was nice. Bye. Do like it's actually a good question, right? So for sure, for sure, it it it, it involves being like mid of the link list. It involves reversing a link list. It can for sure ask an interview because it involves many stuff which a person needs to know for a link list and it's a very, very, very good question. Cool. Bye. See ya.